What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review. This time I'm bringing it on the Decimus by Praxis Vapors. So, anybody that's familiar with Praxis, they have a lot of great devices. This is their first box mod that they have made. It is 150 watts, no temp control. So, if you're about temp control, this mod's not, not for you. Let's dive down, check out the packaging, you know, check out the nitty and the gritty of this device, y'all. So, without further ado, let's do that. Alrighty guys, let's get down to the nitty and the gritty. Here we are with the packaging that the Decimus comes in. Tells you what all is in the box. Gives you a nice little user manual. Does have a 120 day warranty. And here's the place of resistance. Nice little Praxis Vapors branding there. Ventilation. Spring load at 510. Has like a leathery feel to it. On the button, the top. It's a little patch right here on the bottom. And it feels kind of like a silky, smooth, rubberized kind of feeling on the doors. Now you can pop these open. As you can see, it's running in series. Get you a nice little tab here. Held on by these magnets right here. Right here is your up down for your wattage. Kind of stealthily hidden away. Kind of like it because it makes it more smooth and sleek. Of course, I uh, make it look like it's got a tail running through there. On both sides of these pop off. They do have different color doors. That way you guys can like fully customize them. So, let me pop some batteries in here guys and I'll walk you through the menu screen. Alright, got some batteries in here. As you guys can see, you get your volts, your ohms, wattage right here, battery life. I don't know if you guys can hear it on camera, but when you press the fire button, if you hear that little buzzing noise, it's because this mod uses a pulse width modulator. It, a little outdated, but it's going to make that buzzing noise. Uh, let's see here. You put two taps and you go switch between wattage and voltage. So you can run it in whatever mode you want. It does go... It's all the way to one watt. All the way up to 150 watts. Now, I'm going to show you guys what happens when you take out a battery. It does not save your memory. It does not memorize what wattage you had it set at. None of that. Now, that, that's kind of a con to some people. But overall, it feels great in your hand. I mean, it just feels so smooth, it's nice, it's got a little bit of rattle to it. So, that's pretty much it guys. Um, we'll go ahead and switch it up and we'll go back and talk about it a little bit guys. And I'll tell you guys my pros and my cons and what I think about the device. Okay guys, that was my up close with the Decimus by Praxis Vapors. 
First off, let me tell you about my pros and my cons with this device. It is This does retail for about $94, $95. I believe the different color plates are like $30 a piece, so... Eh. Not bad. Not bad pricing. It is awesome that it does have those different features to where you can change out the doors, have different colors. thing I do not like is the pulse... Ah, the pulse with modulation, I do not like it. The clicking noise is annoying. It bothers me so bad. Like when I first got the device, I wasn't expecting it to be a pulse with modulation device. So I was like, what is wrong with this device? Is there something wrong with it? Did they send me something jankety? No, that's just how it's supposed to be. So don't panic. Don't flip out about it. It does have bat battle ah, button rattle. So come on, I was expecting a little better from Praxis. I mean, great device. Don't get me wrong. Great, great device. Love the way it feels. I love a lot of things about this device. I have not had any problems with any of my atom atomizers or anything connecting. It's all been good. I do not like that it don't hold memory. I wish it would hold memory, you know. If I change out my batteries, I don't want to sit there and have to fiddle around with my wattage again. I just want it to be where I want it to be. Overall, I think it's a good device. To me, though, it does seem like the wattage is off a little bit. Uh, it kind of seems like... If I'm vaping on my other mods at 70 watts, I feel like I have to vape on this one at like 80. So, mm, which isn't that bad. It's not that big of a deal to me because, I mean, I don't vape 150 watts. I mean, I just don't. I mean, there's some people out there that might actually do that, but I don't. So, to me, it's not a big con. Overall, though, I think it's a great device. Uh, I do love the way it feels. I, I just, I like the overall aesthetics of the device. So, for $95 and $30 bucks for, like, doors, I think $30 for the doors is a little expensive. I think that's a little overpriced. But, now they do have the Arctic version, which is this version, the white version. And they have a Midnight one, which is, like, kind of like a, like a dark gray. With the black, I mean, no matter what, you're just, you're going to have the black. So, just letting you guys know that. But anyways, I will leave a link in the description on where you can get one of these guys. And other than that, guys, you guys just keep them coils wet. And I'll see you guys next time.